All right, y'all, before we get started on this video, in the comments, I want you to tell me some cheap items that have made a huge difference in your van life, your camping, your traveling, just really inexpensive stuff that has changed the game for you. Um, but in the meantime, welcome back to Adventuring with Amanda. In this video, I am going to be going through a list of items in my van that are super cheap that have made the biggest difference. I'm on a budget like most people are, so I have been able to find items that um, have been very helpful and are very versatile. So like this video, subscribe to my channel, let's get into it. I have a series of small trays and tables that I've purchased from the cheap section at Target in front. So this is one of them. This purple tier shelf actually came with three shelves. I only keep two on it. When I am uh, traveling, I leave the shelf right here. I could put some stuff on it, but I also put it on my dish table to dry dishes like I was doing with Winston's Bowls. So this was $5. I do have the other shelf if I want to put it on there, but right now I don't have a need for it. This is one of my other $5 tables. It is wood and it is great for using on my bed to eat. I also set my hot logic on it to cook my meals. And then the legs simply fold down so it's nice and flat and then I store it on this side of my bed. Now this is my favorite table from Target. I purchased this in May. I think it's actually supposed to be used outside, but you could use it anywhere. It's a little metal table. I like to put my lantern on it, uh, decoration, but I also use it often for my tablet and drinks or phone. So it just folds up like this. And then I've put this one next to Winston's bed. It slides right in there. Yes, I'm obsessed with Target and their cheap section in the front, especially for seasonal items. But I got this tray. It has these handles on it. And it's probably supposed to be used uh, for decor. And I will put like candles and things on it when I'm feeling like it. But when I'm not using it for that, I just put my pants and my shorts on it and slide it right on my shelf. So I don't have to take up any extra space storing it, but if I'm feeling the vibe, I can take it out, put some candles on it, uh, maybe uh, some fake flowers, and put it on my little outdoor table, and it's super cute. So all of these items that I've purchased from Target are $5 and very versatile. Next on my list are these glue pads. I have been using these for almost three years now. They hold up to five pounds, and this is what they look like. It's just a flat glue pad. They can be easily cut, so I recommend cutting them um, with scissors while they have the protective sheets on them. They are very sticky, so like I said, they can hold up to five pounds. They're very heavy duty, but they're also reusable, and um, they don't leave any residue when you peel them off. So for example, if I wanted to leave this purple shelf on my drawer system here, I could cut four little pieces of uh, this glue pad here and just stick them down to my shelf and this thing would not move. They are excellent for so many different things. So for securing items in your van, I recommend these glue pads. I believe this set of 10 was around $10 on Amazon. Binder clips are handy for so many different situations. I use them for hanging my tapestries. So you can see like I have one up in the corner there. So my tapestries are hung up. I hang up my decor. These have um, binder clips that are really stuck in there. And then I also hang up my blackout curtain with binder clips as well. So they are inexpensive. I purchased all these multicolored ones three years ago. I bought a pack of 100 for around $12, but you can find these literally anywhere, including the dollar store. So I also use tacks. So my tapestries in the center there, you can see there's two blue tacks. This one has the same 
That way, even uh, with the binder clips, the tapestries were sagging a little bit, but I just put the tacks right into my ceiling and now the tapestries do not sag and it looks so much better. So get yourself some tacks and binder clips. They can be used under many different circumstances. Of course, bungee cords are a must have for van life and you can purchase these at the Dollar Tree as well. You can even get a pretty big tub of them at Harbor Freight for a great price. So I use them to secure my furniture. I use them for my awning. I even use one as a toilet or not toilet paper, a paper towel holder. Um, I've been using that right there for years, which is excellent. If you get creative, bungees are also fantastic for many situations. Goodwill and thrift stores are excellent places to find inexpensive items. I got this fan, which is currently clipped onto my shelf, at Goodwill for $5. It has two speeds and it is USB. I have it plugged into my Jackery. As you can see, it's only pulling two watts. It also has a stand, so you can stand it up. But this thing has made the biggest difference for the summertime ever since I purchased it earlier this year. And I love that I can move it around. It uses such little power and it was only $5. So for items like this, definitely check out your local thrift store. This is a two yard piece of black fabric. I think the total cost at the fabric store was maybe around $4 for the two yards. I hang this up as my blackout curtain right in front of my headrests and I put the binder clips right up there where I have those air fresheners hung. So this is what it looks like. So I never take the binder clips off. I always have them connected so I can literally put up the curtain and that's it. It blacks out my whole van because as you can see, I have some light that comes in from the front since my window my windshield visor doesn't quite go all the way up because of my mirror. So this allows me to have a very dark van, whether in the morning or at night for privacy and for better sleep with the binder clips and the simple fabric. It's way cheaper than like buying an actual curtain. Here's another example of how I use my binder clips just to put put up my art so my things uh, hang on my seat belt. I even have my flowers secured with these clips from the dollar store and more binder clips. You just have to get creative and they can be extremely helpful. If you're looking for something inexpensive and effective for your toilet, I highly recommend using pine pellets. They are so absorbent and environmentally friendly. I get a 40 pound bag for less than $8 at Tractor Supply and I put them in this little canvas carry bag. Um, this is my clean toilet. I have some pine pellets in there. They are so awesome and it's much better than kitty litter and like I said, much cheaper. And if you have any questions on my toilet system, I recently posted an updated video about it. On my sink table, I have the shelf that I showed you earlier, but also the electric water dispenser. So this is a new one I just purchased, but I've been using an electric water dispenser on a jug for the entirety of my van life. So all you have to do is hit the button and you have running water. These only run from 10 to $20. I believe this brand new one I just purchased was 12. Just has a little hose and that's it. It's a very, very simple product. What's nice about these water dispensers is you can fit them on a one, three, or five gallon jug. So this is a three gallon jug I purchased at Walmart and you can use them uh, permanently in a rig if you have a build or you can use it like I do where you just set it on top when you get set up. Now my sink is also very cheap. This is a bucket and a strainer that I purchased at the Dollar Tree. So the total cost was $2.50 for both things. So what's nice is that I can wash my hands and everything. I can put dishes in here if I need to, but the strainer catches solids from going into the sink and then when you're done, you can literally just pour the bucket of water out. So a super easy, cheap sink option that anyone can do. And overall, this is my entire dishes table. Actually, the entire setup was 
fairly inexpensive. The last item on today's list are spray bottles. I keep a spray bottle of water to rinse off my hands, uh, dishes, really whatever. You can purchase these at the dollar store. I have a smaller one. This has a mixture of vinegar and water, which is super great for doing dishes. Now this one I think I purchased at Target or Walmart, and what's nice is that you can get them in different colors, and of course you can label them. I had a little pink one with bleach in it, but now I just carry a bottle of bleach for my toilet. And Maddie even uses spray bottles for things like body wash and mouthwash. You can use them for anything. So spray bottles are great to have on hand. And of course, inexpensive Dollar Tree, you can't beat it. The rain is coming in. It's not even five o'clock and a storm is about to hit. I have impeccable timing lately. It seems like I shower and put all my solar in and then it starts to rain. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I hope that something in it was helpful to you. Remember to leave a comment about your helpful, inexpensive items that you use for van life, camping, or travel. Like this video, subscribe to our channel, and we will see you next time.